Hi. No, but really, what is going on, everybody? My name is Trainer T, and welcome for the first time to Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. And you can see my face now, which makes it either better or worse. So, uh, as I've mentioned, if you follow me on Twitter, which if you don't, Anyway, uh, I love the Pokemon trading card game. Uh, just started getting into it. Um, like my first event was March, uh, Charlotte Regionals, and um, wasn't the best, but definitely not enough time for a high school student to get his world's invite. So, uh, as you will probably gather from the statement that I just gave you, uh, today we're not going to be testing for the world's format. No. <laughs> We're doing something different. <laughs> we are testing for post-rotation format here with the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. Now, I have a very lovely guest. Uh, it's not Grim Reaper. Um, I have a very lovely guest. Um, my girlfriend has so willingly offered me um, to play me in post-rotation. She has a very annoying deck that we are going to be playing against. Um, today, I'm going to be showing off a little bit of Turbo Rayquaza post-rotation. I'm still learning the um, the deck a little bit, obviously. This is actually my first time playing with post-rotation Rayquaza. I have played with current format Rayquaza for a little bit. Um, and I, I haven't done so well. Um, <laughs> I really haven't. So... Uh, today we are going to be um, testing post rotation, uh, trying to give her deck a run for its money, but it is a very tough deck. So, uh, as you can see here, I have uh, so, <laughs> some some decks, uh, some very good um, theme decks right here. Um, Guardi post rotation, Metagross post rotation, and we have Rayquaza post rotation, which will be the deck that we will be sending the invite for. So. Um, yeah, as you may also see to the side, um, I actually played against, um, Azul Garcia Grigo, who, um, if you're not familiar, is the best player in the world. Uh, the top ranked player in the world, I played against him on an online tournament, um, not going to spoil the ending, somebody else kept playing, uh, and I'll give you a hint, it wasn't me. Um, so I, I'm trying a little bit of something different with this deck, by the way. I'm, um, giving it a try, seeing if running a 2-2 line of Vikavolt with, um, 3 rare candy is worth it. Uh, trying to see if you need it for the setup. I, I'm working on a little bit of a different list, um, than what most people are running, I'm, I'm sure of it. Um, we are going to go ahead, discard that, grab the Rayquaza. Getting ready to stormy winds here. I'm uh, gonna acrobike first just to see if we get. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? It's like they're giving me free money here. Uh, we are going to mysterious treasure away the Guzma. Uh, we want to go ahead and get a grubbin down. Unfortunately, we uh, run so many mysterious treasures. Um, then we're gonna just go ahead and throw down the, uh, the Rayquaza here. Um, I apologize. I set my phone on my table. Um, expecting to not get messages because that's how my life works and I don't know who would be messaging me. Um, we're going to go and throw down another Rayquaza. Luckily, we started with the Lily in hand. Um, we have Vikavolt down. We're going to hope that we can get a Grubbin. Ooh, we can get the Grubbin off of this start like we just did right there. We're going to throw down the Oranguru as well. Um, we're going to hold on to the Acrobike and pass. Um... Yeah, so uh, I'm here today, um, you know, for the first time we're recording the Pokemon TCG online. Uh, I've actually had a resurgence after um, post-rotation testing of, you know, really loving the game. It, it got a little stagnant there for a little bit. Luckily, she played Cynthia, uh, not Judge. I almost said N. I'm so used to playing with uh, with N in format. <laughs> um, anyways... <laughs> Uh, I sort of had a resurgence for, you know, my care for the deck. Is she running Espeon? What are you doing? She never told me she was running Espeon. 
What deck are you playing? Hello? Okay, so I definitely think we have to knock out this, um, have to knock out the, uh, Cosmog in the front, and, dude, come on, it's like, it's like people just know, they just know, if you know, you know, I mean, come on, really, really, we're, we're gonna get the Lele off the acro bike for Guzma, hello, uh, oof, that was close, I only have one in deck. How many Guzmas do I run? One must be prized, because I'm fairly certain I put three in there. We are going to strong charge. Um, we needed to go ahead and do this, uh, get this Cosmog out of here, because that's one too many energy. She runs Wishful Baton in this. It's a, um, a Lunala GX deck. Uh, if you're not familiar with Lunala GX, it can move energy around um, as much as it wants. So, like... What's, what's even the point? She's going to obviously, you know, go in with Espeon here. Going to go for the Psybeam Confusion. Um, almost makes you think, is it even worth it to attack at this point? Um, not really sure what I'm going to do here. Might have been cool to not bench the Oranguru and go for a second Grub in here. Oh, well, we're learning the deck. Uh, you're learning the deck at the same rate that I am, so come on. Um, she does play Tate and Liza in here. I am familiar with that. I'm, I've told her before that she shouldn't. She should run Heavy Cynthia, and she should run uh, Copycat and Judge. But, oh well, you know, if if she listens, she listens. And if she doesn't, then, you know, it's okay. I, I, don't, I don't have to be right every time. We are going to drop the Grass Energy here and put one Lightning Energy here on the Tapu Lele. We are going to cross our fingers and hope that we can hit Dragon Break here, and we do not. We take 30 damage from Confusion, um, which means that if we don't hit this Confusion next time, we knock ourselves out, which almost makes me think, hmm, do I even bother? Because <laughs> I run Latias Prism Star in here. I mean, you know, we, we're pretty decent with the... Um, with the energies that we have, uh, it would be very nice to be able to switch out of the active. I don't know, do I run switch? I don't remember if I do. If not, then we're going to hit the uh, hard retreat. <laughs> the the very hard retreat here. You know, even if we retreat, we're not really losing too much. How much energy will we have? One, two, three, four, five, six in the discard. How many lightning is that? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay, so we have to cross our fingers and hope that we have lightning energy in deck left over. Hmm. Let's see. Let's check with Ultra Ball. I think I might put an energy recycler in here. Uh, let's see. We have. Yeah, we have a lightning left in deck, so we're not, you know, completely bad off. If uh, if we need it, we have it. We are going to retreat, though. I think. Um, so what what will that give us? So we have, we'll have three back on here because we're going to strong charge. Uh, we're going to attach this grass energy here. I'm pointing at the screen like you guys can see. I'll just show it with your mouse. Um, this grass energy that just got really large. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is 210, which is enough to knock out. Probably should have done that last turn. Uh, Would have avoided a lot of embarrassment. Do not attack yet, please. Uh, we are going to strong charge here. Go ahead and get that strong charge popping off today. Uh, we're going to hit the Cynthia. Uh, hopefully, yep, we hit the Pal Pad here. Uh, we want to go ahead and grab those Guzmans. Um, yeah, I think we're fine. I think we Dragon Break here for 210. Who says post rotation Rayquaza is bad? Like, I mean, this is turn three right turn three and we're yep okay so we had one guzma prize um turn three we're hitting for 210 hello it's fine we're we're living out here other than if you play gardevoir um because <laughs> you literally only need four energy attachments to knock out Rayquaza. do you even need four i know you need four for ultra necrozma you don't even need four you need three energy between the two of you and it's a knockout so that's pretty free. 
Like, it's it's really free. And, oh, man, I did really set myself up for the copycat here. Um, really unfortunate. She's going to get a huge hand size. I have no clue why she plays Pokeball. Do not ask me. She definitely trusts the flips too much here. Um, we're going to see if she has anything. She's going to concede. There we go. That's victory number one with Rayquaza here. We're going to play one more game here. Uh, we're going to jump in with post-rotation Rayquaza one more time. Um, get another game in. Uh, hopefully we win because I would love to, <laughs> to put this as a best of three. Um, but if not, you know, it's only going to be one more game. Um, we're going to call Tails. We obviously win the coin flip. I mean, what what point is it calling Tails if you don't win the coin flip? Um, oof, that's a rough one. Uh, we are going to <laughs> have to play Lele here. Um, yeah, we're going to be done after that. We are definitely going to have to check and see if we can get a Lily going on here. Um, really, really, yeah. Yeah, we want a Lily. So I am getting rid of this Lightning Energy. Which, yep, okay, so we have Lele. And do we have Lily? We have both our Lilies. So we are going to go in with Rayquaza after we go grab. You know, I'm not liking the Energy Switch. I think that we take the Energy Switch out for regular Switch. Um, I don't know. I, I just think I would have way more use with that. So we are going to grab Lele, go ahead and slap it down, and grab Lily so that we don't mill them both. And then we are going to use Stormy Winds, discard top three, go ahead and attach that, um, attach that lightning energy that we had there. Boom, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. That really sucks that we just milled one of our rays there. Uh, we're going to draw five cards here. Um, drew the five cards. Um hit one energy that was not purposeful <coughs> oh geez uh -huh. um we are going to slap down the kid we are going to slap down <coughs> a grubbin since it worked so well last time uh i don't know why i put back down the oranguru after just talking about how it didn't really work last game um hopefully we can get another vikavolt up because it worked really well last game um, we definitely want to hit the Cynthia into uh, Rare Candy, or just top tech the Rare Candy, because we're crazy like that. Um, yeah, so, she starts the Dawn Wings here, which is really unfortunate. It's a little bit harder of a knockout to start with than the, um, the previous Cosmog that we knocked out last game, um, which means that... We either have to top deck an energy to knock out that Cosmog, letting her go up uh, or down on prizes, opening up the Moon's Eclipse, or something else. I don't know. I definitely think this is a rough spot for us. Um, not the best. Not the best situation to be in. She misses energy attachment for turn, which gives us a little bit of leeway here. We are going... Oof. We are going to grab... The grass energy. Yeah, we're gonna grab the grass energy here. I like I like moving for the grass here. Uh, we are going to attach that to Lele and then Cynthia, because we are going to trust. I was gonna say that we're going to trust that we hit rare candy Vikavolt, but no. So, not only have we messed up with attaching the two lightning to Rayquaza on accident, but We've also risked it too much. We could have easily gone in for the knockout on a Cosmog. Uh, hopefully we do not come to regret that later. Um, I definitely could see us doing that though. Uh, she evolves to Cosmoem and is going to get out the Espeon here. I would love to knock out Dawn Wings to start because I know that she only runs one. Um, she runs a completely different deck than this. Uh, in real life, if you will, um, IRL, as some would say. Um, what what can I do here? Can I can I get knockout on Dawn Wings? So I have one, two, three, four, five would be one fifty. So I literally only needed one more. So we are going to go ahead and attach these here. 
We are going to Cynthia. Cross our fingers. We're going to draw into Rare Candy Vikaval. I absolutely knew it. Never doubted it for one second. Um, we are going to go in with the Ultra Ball here as well. Just to look and see how much energy we have. Yeah. Okay, so we have enough. We have enough to strong charge here. We are not going to mill. I guess we do mill ourselves first. Yeah, we're just going to cross our fingers. Hope we don't hit too many energy off this. Okay, yeah, we don't. Uh, we are going to grab the grass energy. And then we are going to strong charge to Rayquaza. And we're going to hit the instruct. And we're going to hit some kind of craziness that we don't really need. Uh, yep, that's absolutely fine. I do not want any of that, please. Uh, yep, let's go up. Dragon Break, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 knocks out. We have the 9 for 210. She will most definitely come up and hit us with uh, confusion here. We had two of our rare candies prized, and we hit rare candy Vikavolt. That just shows you that we were meant to win this game. Um, obviously, coming into this with uh, Rayquaza versus Espeon, and she has the Lunala on bench already. Um, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of that pal pad. Well, I, I mean, we're not really in a bad situation here. Let's Acrobike. And we're going to have to grab that Latias, unfortunately. Um, don't really want to. Uh, I guess we strong charge again here. We probably shouldn't have, but we're going to put it onto... Uh, let's be safe, and, and we'll put it onto the uh, Tapu Lele here. I don't think anything she has KOs Tapu Lele, so... Um, with what we have would be a six energy attachment we cannot do that so we are going to risk it here um, I'm gonna save my energy attachment because we're gonna hit it yes and that's 270 you know not very much can hit up into that 250 numbers uh, we hit the Guzma so you know if she hits altar of the moon retreats out of there then you know we we have an easy out to getting the lunala she runs energy recycler for the one energy that she needs um <laughs> yeah okay so can we just win this turn let's see so we can put back on three and we'll have one two three four five six seven eight a is 250 we cannot have the win this round unless we go for it I say we go for it because there's no reason not to here I mean we hit ourselves for 30 she doesn't attack us for a while that's game good game to to Megan my uh, my amazing girlfriend for for volunteering to uh, play this post rotation match up uh, if you guys are interested in other matches, uh, I am planning on getting together with some of my testing partners later tonight, actually. Uh, not tonight whenever you're seeing this, but tonight whenever I'm recording this. Um, so I'm going to be wearing the same shirt. Don't make fun of me. Um, but yeah, so we'll be getting together, testing some more stuff like um, Scizor, Shift Tree, a um, little bit of Metagross in there. Uh, I'll probably throw my Gardevoir deck out there a little bit. I don't want to throw it out there too much. I mean, I've shared the deck list, but I don't really want to share too much of my thoughts with it. I will... I mean, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and share the deck list. I, I think, you know, if you see the spice, you see the spice. Um, uh, I actually... I'll go in-depth with this the uh, the next video that I do, because I'll probably just go ahead and run Gardevoir with it. Um, yeah, you can see I... Went ahead and spiced out the Apricorn Makers. You know, I have the uh, Full Art Diantha here, which is just such a great Full Art card. Um, but yeah, so anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for... Oh, jeez, how rude. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you have any feedback, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. Like the video i think or subscribe if you're looking forward to it tell me what decks that you want to see stuff like that um tell me to shave because i need to just the sides i'm not shaving the whole thing you know what i mean I, we're 
it's 2018. Uh, anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure to leave your feedback down below. And, um, yeah. Bye.